So I've got an interesting one for you here today. This is a 1800 uh, Volvo that we're going to be doing um, for, well, actually it's a bit of a strange one because we're actually going to be bare this and restoring this car. Um, but the paintwork was in really bad condition and um, we've just begun to do some paint rectification and ceramic detailing on cars. So we thought this was an excellent one to demonstrate the whole process to you. So we're gonna run through that today. Um, but what's really cool, as you can see, we've masked off half of the car. So hopefully when we're all done, this side is all done, the chrome work's done, the wheels are done, body work looks spot on, then we'll be able to unmask it and reveal exactly um, the progress that's been made. couple of issues with this car. Um, first of all, you can see how badly the bodywork is oxidized, but we'll run through that um, later on. We'll show you what we're doing with that. And then also we've got this big scratch, I don't know if you can see it, just about along the front of the wing, so we hope to fix that. they have got various issues with the chrome work uh, around the handles. Obviously there's some things we won't be able to solve, like this corrosion here. Um, but this is just a demo car. Obviously this car is going to be restored anyway. Um, but we'll show you, run through everything that we're doing, why we're doing it, and hopefully it'll look really cool when it's done. So the first thing we're gonna do then is we're gonna apply a chemical, quite a strong acid, that's gonna draw out any of the imperfections. Um, we can't see them, the imperfections are quite imperfect, but actually if you look at the surface of the paint very closely, um, you'll actually see that there's very small iron filings and aluminium filings and all sorts of imperfections. And what you can see here is this chemical is drawing them out. Um, especially on the chrome, they like to stick to the chrome so it will start to draw out any of that contamination from the paintwork. Before we do any paint rectification, the first thing to do is to clean the paintwork really thoroughly, degrease it, get rid of any of the contamination on the bodywork so that we can work with a fresh section of paint um, over the car. So we're just doing that now and then we'll wipe that all off and degrease it. That's our first stage to give a really thorough clean. around the handles with a brush, a very soft brush to make sure that any cleaning um, that we need to do around the chrome is all done properly. And then one thing we're all familiar with is washing our cars and then all of a sudden the dirt comes out from underneath the chrome, so we're trying to get rid of all of that with this process. So next we're going to clay bar the surface of the paintwork. Um, so this is a special cloth, it's a clay bar cloth. And what it does is it removes any imperfection without damaging or scratching the paint. Um, so the idea is, is that we get rid of any high spots and smooth the paint off. Actually, when you use it, if you listen carefully, you can hear it scraping across the surface. Um, now, when that's clear, that should sound really smooth. And we're going to do it all over the whole section of this um, car that we're polishing. And that would just make sure that the paint works uh, free, free of any imperfections for when we begin machine polishing. Okay, so let me just explain to you why we're using the coarse compound, what's going on on the surface of the paintwork. Um, so here we've got a metal substrate with our primers on top. And then we've got this here, which represents our uh, paint layer. So we've got on the top here, this oxidization, which is really just, um, it's probably because this paint was had a lead component to it. Um, and what's happened over the years is, you know, if you leave a lead pipe outside, it starts to go white as it oxidizes. Well, that's similar to what's happened on the paintwork. So on this surface, we've got a, a jagged, unsmooth finish, and also it's oxidized. But what we can do is we can, with the machine polish, we can cut off a very tiny layer off the top. And then underneath, we've got a good solid base of paint, which we can now use to make a shiny finish, to machine polish nice and flat, and we'll look like brand new. So that's what we're trying to do with the cut process. Then we need to go over with a fine one to get rid of any swirl marks, but I did mention as well on the, on the nose of the car, we have got a, quite a deep scratch. So if this is the profile of the scratch that we're looking at here, what we're aiming to achieve, um, the light at the moment is hitting these sharp edges and reflecting, so the scratch becomes really obvious to us. Now we can't always get rid of the scratch completely because there might not be enough paint left at the bottom for us to work with. We could just take the top off and that will reduce the size of the scratch. But our main aim is to actually round off these edges. So if we round off these edges, so they're now nice and curved, just do that. 
mark pen. If we round off these edges like this and this with a machine polishing process and then also fill the bottom with oils and waxes like this. The way the light bounces around that scratch now, it becomes hardly noticeable. So sometimes we can't always get rid of every single scratch on the bodywork, but we can reduce its visibility dramatically. So that's what we're aiming to do with the uh, front of this car, but we'll show you the process for that now. Let me give you a sneak peek of the section that we've polished already. You can see the difference in the paintwork just since we've done that first pass. And what you will notice is there's still quite a few swirls in. Well, that's caused by the harsh compound of the polish that we're using to cut the first layer. Uh, when we go over it with the second layer, they'll all be removed as well. So we're starting to see some progress, but we can already see the difference in the paintwork. So as you can see, I've started machine polishing this section here with a small polisher and it's coming up really nice. Um, so we've got the surface of the paint worked. However, as you can look, uh, as you can see just here in the light, it's still got some scratches. Um, so that's okay, we can continue to cut that. So I'll just do a bit more cutting on this section and then we'll show you that when it's disappeared. <laughs> So now I've cut that scratch out a bit more and you can see that they're actually completely gone. Um, so that's really good. And just do the rest of the door. But it just shows you how much you can achieve just by machine polishing. These new polishes, they cut so well and you can actually take quite a bit of material off. Um, because we're sort of all painted here in the shop as well, we know what sort of level of materials on the product on the panel as well, so you can take a good guess how far we can go with this cutting process. Um, that's starting to get really good now, so getting We're just doing the final bit of polishing on the bodywork. It's starting to look really good now. So you just get rid of the last bits of swell marks and stuff like that, which is easier to see on these lights. Um, and then we're also just polishing up the chromes as best as possible as well because um, obviously we'll ceramic coat that and seal that in so we want those to be in the best nick they possibly can. But it's starting to get there, it's starting to look really good. So we've done the paint correction now, that's um, as good as it's going to get. But you can start to see our reflection in it, uh, it's much better. Obviously we can't fix everything because there's a, a few rust um, bits and things like that. Um, so what we're going to do now is you can just see slightly in the light there's a slight haze just where uh, there's polish residue and all sorts left over from where we've been, been doing the chromes and things like that. Um, so what we're going to do now is give this a very thorough degreasing um, so that there's nothing left on the surface, no oils, no waxes, nothing. And then we apply the ceramic coat on top of that. Now the theory of that is the ceramic coat forms a very hard layer on top of the car. So basically everything we've got here, once it's been degreased and cleaned, is what will stay on the surface. And our ceramic coating, you use a pH neutral cleaner to keep on top of the car uh, when you're washing it and so forth, then that will actually last eight years and you can do a warranty online and everything for it. So it's a genuine, really good product that will now seal that over. And so things like when birds, um, bird droppings land on top or salts and various different problems that can hit a car this ceramic will seal that in and so it's no problem in the future but i'll show you a video of that when it's all done so now we're just applying the ceramic coating so we have to work in teams really because we have to get the, the, the gap that it's applied and polished off with these special wraps just right so that it does its job effectively so i'm just working along here Colin's coming up behind and cleaning off the residue.
So let me show you now, we just pulled the masking off. You can see the old and the new. It looks in a different color actually in here. Made a huge amount of difference. This is the old side. Um, even on the, the chromes, we've managed to make those look better. On the badge as well, the badge looks a lot better. You can see that's made a huge amount of difference. So that coating now will stay there for a while. Um, should be up to eight years if the right products are used on it. Uh, it's even made a difference to the windows. Let me do the water test. That just beads off nicely, so that should be easy to maintain going forward. Thank <laughs> you.